Happening right now, friends are gathering to remember one of the victims in a shooting at a school in Vancouver on Tuesday. A young mother was shot in the car while she sat in the parking lot. She had a restraining order against the shooter and feared for her life. Coin Six's Jennifer Dowling is live at Esther Short Park as people are gathering. Jen? Good evening, Emily. Yes, the crowd has gathered behind me and they're carrying candles uh, to remember Tiffany Hill. We just spoke with her sister, Tabitha, who confirmed she was the victim in this shooting. Now, there were two women in a van at the time of the shooting. It was uh, Tiffany and her mother. Uh, they were waiting for the kids after school, and that's when Tiffany... Uh, Police say was fatally shot and killed by her estranged husband. Uh, then he eventually turned the gun on himself. He has been identified as Keelan Hill. Now, unfortunately, this tragedy happened uh, right after school let out for Thanksgiving break, uh, making for a bleak holiday for those who knew and loved those victims. She was a wonderful person. She was always, um, always there for everybody. She always had a she listened to you and encouraged you, and she was a really strong person. Keelan Hill had recently been released from jail, and one of the victims had a restraining order against him. A court paper show an extensive history of abuse. He had recently posted bail before the shooting occurred. Uh, so this was a, uh, a very tragic situation here for this community. It, of course, happened right before the holidays. So uh, friends organizing this vigil tonight were told that a lot of her family lives out of state. Um, and so they just wanted to remember her here uh, in Vancouver and mourn her passing here, we'll have more information on this coming up tonight on Coin 6 News at 6 o'clock. Back to you. All right, an absolutely heartbreaking situation. Jennifer, thank you. We know the family has also started a GoFundMe. More right now on Coin.com.